Hey guys, it's your and welcome back to my channel as well guys. How are you doing today? Well, today's video, we're going to do organization. So remember a couple about a month ago when I did IKEA um, haul and the Google haul? Well, I found some pegboards. I, I'm doing a nice organization to my back nook. And as you can see, I'm going to show you the before, how I look, and I'm going to show you the after. If you're new to my channel, my name is More Girl, and I would love you to be a subscriber to my channel where we do DIYs, art, shop with me, and a lot of sort of now I have my Cricut machine, so I'm doing a lot of Cricut, which is like this, and also my decor here back here was just about everything done with the Cricut. Okay, so again, if you're interested in that type of video, please subscribe to my channel or share it to your friends and family who will also like things like home decor and design and also just to do some type of projects or organization all right guys so what we're going to do is the first thing I'm do is I'm going to show you the nook the before and after and I'm going to take you through the nook and then the second thing I'm going to do is show you the other part I already saw if you didn't see the last video where I did DIY on the lamps on my canvas and on my bookcase here go check that video out you'll like it there is some ideas on what you could do if you have a cricket machine it's not just for t-shirts and just for you know label it it's for a lot of things you could do it in your home decor projects the second thing i'm going to show you is the rest of the studio i'm going to tour it so you can see i have four zones i have this one which is my background for my youtube and also for my cricket storage which i already showed that video this second zone that i have is on this side because this is a really really large room that i call the studio or my youtube room and on this side here i'm going to show you how i have my different papers where i got them and also if you are a youtuber or you're a creator and you want some ideas of how to do a background as well or get some background i also do my projects on this side as well on the other side of this wall is my office area which is the desk which i do all either my graphics i would do some of the my designing my planning and also my organization as well on the other side i have like my mirror and my monitor so my tv i use as a monitor if you want to come in they want to do a quick picture and they can look at the monitor as well and then the mirror of course if by chance i would do some either clothing hauls or you know again so i'm going to take you around the whole room but again let's just start in the back nook and you'll see living in a small space how you can decide i don't care how small your space is and don't forget we're going to learn how to use vertical vertical space instead of you can't go wide you can always go up okay guys all right guys it's your more girl and thanks for coming to my channel and let's get started so this is my little messy area that i'm starting to purge in this area here it needs to be done guys this is a mess back here and this is a small little area and i do not want my youtube room slash studio to be in my craft room as well you know i figure anything that i don't need you know this is like my printer if i have to print any photos or anything back here this is what i use back here if you know my shredder is here these are the cabinets i got from goodwill before you know the countertop here this little top that i still have to edge it here that i got free from home depot why don't we say it's too late for us now Why do we stay When I blame you for the things that weigh me down Hey guys, that was so much easier and cleaner and look at how the overall view looks now. I went vertical space from top to bottom and you see once I purge everything, I still have a lot of space left over. So therefore, again, I say use any type of vertical space in my system here. And up top here, as you can see, I'm using my my storage this container again i got from ikea and it was 14.99 and as you can see i can basically put maybe two more or one or two on top or some smaller containers and this is basically just housing just miscellaneous things um like a little junk drawer that um instead of having that all over the place and of course you'll see my cutting board here along with my shelf that i use for my paint uh, my spray paints something that's under the cabinet again that is taking space here i have some of my little signages here that i didn't want to get rid of so i just basically kind of stored them here again um 
I, my paint cans, I only have a few. I get what I need, and I'm not going to sit there and store a lot of things. You know, it's not storage. You know, my place is too small to be storage. I do not have a garage, so therefore, I only buy what I need. Now, here comes uh, my papers. Here, if I need any craft papers, I got stuff here. Also, my lamination papers, envelopes. I also have um, photo paper here if I take any pictures I'm going to print for my printer right here and this was stores this area here because I like a lot of things that's like in a zone area you know you have your printing stuff and your papers in one area now below the desk is where some of my shipping is some of my um equipment air some of my just things I need for you know, miscellaneous things. Again, this is boxes from my kid, my sewing kit here. This is from my chica. She's left it here, so I have been using it. Now, this drawer here, as you see, once I purge, I empty a lot of stuff off. This is mis miscellaneous things I can't fit. Here are like my marbles, my rocks. Now, I couldn't find the containers for this particular um, cabinet this particular drawer because I did see on another YouTuber how she had like the small square acrylic boxes with the lid on it so as soon as i find them i'm going to come and get that now coming over here to the right side again is like my heat gun my sander little equipment that i need you know for my projects along with my screwdriver and you know anything like that my staple gun over here i have my bubble wrap and i have my shipping supplies over here that i use for my giveaways or for my posh mark if i have to ship something away so I have stored in this small area and also it fits perfectly and it's still nice and neat. Coming along is my, again, shipping area, these baskets. You know, I put two in the um, YouTube room, two out here, along here. I just got these yesterday, so I didn't have a chance to label them. They hold, you know, sort of my paints, my bling accessories, anything like that. So... First, I was looking for something. That's why the video took so long because I couldn't put my hand all the way through. So I needed containers that would just slide out easily. And that can contain some of my paints and my alcohol inks and things like that. So on the side of the cabinets, what I did was I took the two cabinets I got from Goodwill and separated them so I can put my shredder in here. And over here in the right side cabinet, and you see I still have a lot of space. Some old extra Christmas decor I didn't get a chance to put away. And like my adhesive, my, um, you know, stuff like my deglosser and things like that I store here. And I still have plenty of space to store other items. Coming across here, these cute little baskets, again, that I sprayed along with the other two I put in YouTube room. And I have my bling wrap here. And you can see here, I don't have much left because I haven't been really doing any bling. So, again, I keep what I need. And over here, again, shipping stuff, just completely just my tapes and blades and stuff like that. In the middle of that, you know, you'll see my laminator. Um, and again, I showed you where I put my sheets for my laminator. So since I had a little space between the pegboard and the desk, I decided to get this little shelves. These two shelves I got from Ikea that I painted white. They do come natural. So I decided to display my acrylic paints. I figure it's easier to get to the paint than to have them below in the cabinet. So these are the paints I have. And again, you know, as some paints get old, you know, you just replace them. And this is enough space for all my paint needs. Are coming across the pegboard here so i did keep with the natural color because it matches the cabinets below and you can see here i have my roller section all the accessories i got for this area and i love this little accessory that holds all your papers you know your gift wrap papers i have it holding some of my material this is um alligator print that i use for my master closet along with the other wallpaper i use for my canvas in the other room um, it's a justice. I really like this. So if your paper's longer, just move it across the board. Above it, this one here holds your ribbon or your washi tape, which is really, really good. Again, it adjusts it. So if you need a little bit more space, you can just extend it out over the gray one here. Holds your scissors, which is good. And you see the clip, which is very, very nice. It's very convenient. Above it, um, I use this one here for my rulers um anything that you have that's long that is uh, or a weird shape and these little out uh, of the cords my favorite is these little like bungee cords anything that's odd shape and then you have your hooks 
again um anything i have here my little cups here for my glitter my staples my batteries these cute little cups hold like it just separates the little t little knickknack things that you have and as you can see you know this will hold my label maker i mean the little clip just for my ink and of course my hot glue gun which is much more convenient here than me keep grabbing it from the bin in the box along with something so small as a you know hole puncher again these little cups i left open because these are things that are taller your glue sticks your twine your brushes my pens um anything like that anything that is adhesive like i'll put there as far as my command strips or something like that so i think this system really works well for my diy project and again i can extend it adjust a little more if i need any additional space and again guys you know no matter how big or small this little teeny little nook really still has enough space for me to do my arts and my crafts i really like my little cute nook now it's much more neater and everything really has its own place so as i come in uh, my youtube room again i like to have several different zones you already seen this many times which is the background and my cricut maker in my space over here I'm not going to go through that tour again because I already did it. If you haven't seen it, go check back in the previous videos and I'll show you some DIYs and where I store everything for my Cricut machine. Coming over here, I call this my studio here. And this is here. If you have any type of, if you do pictures or you're a YouTuber and you want to just do a different background, this right here I got from Amazon, these hooks here, um, this system here, there's just two brackets on each end. You can get these from Amazon. This is usually for photographers who photograph and they use it for the background paper like the burgundy one going across. Um, the other ones I use is cloth backgrounds. I you got these rods. They're just conduit, conduit, I think they call it, rods here. And um, you get them from Home Depot for a few dollars. Okay, and also the space I use for this is my giveaway. So I use it for my DIY project. So now I'll be doing my bubble wrap for my giveaway. If you didn't see the video earlier today, go check out the three winners, the three lucky winners to this giveaway. And also over here, I have my, my clothing rack. So, you know, if I do a haul or anything like that, or someone wants a quick picture, they need to hang something up. That's not a problem as well. Coming over here is my pegboard system. This is my zone for my office, my creativities, my desk, everything like that. So this is a small little area I need. That's all I need. It doesn't take much. And of course, again, my artist, be creative. She did my Louboutin, my um, artwork for me. So I really appreciate her again. She also did the more girl sign along with my coffee station um, accessories from a couple years ago. This here pegboard to the left and to the right, I sprayed gold. They were the original natural wood, but this time I sprayed them gold to blink out the gold, white, black theme and my little pop of red. Yes, I think that looks really, really hot. I'm really loving this color for this. And you can see the pink in the background it, it's a really nice color so i figured let me just spray it came out perfect and i got a nice gold color again this is how stuff with my lights my microphone everything i need to video record here here i had in my master bedroom so this was another good little find from a few years ago it had like a glitter background i think i diy so i just took the frame out and look here it looks like a totally different mirror i just turned to horizontal and it came up really nice and cleaned it up again this cute little saying sometimes we just need a little kick sometimes and i love love this again good will find over here, of course, is my desk, Goodwill, and my store, Goodwill, and I DIY this years ago. Over here is, um, you know, of course, my Wacom tablet. So this is where I do either any type of graphic design or anything like that. I'm not sure if you guys know what it is. It's sort of like a pen writing for people who does like graphic arts. It's called a Wacom tablet. Over here on this side of my pegboard, I got a chance to actually label them as my Canon M50. This is what I shoot with normally, my beats. You know, I even did my little design for my beats. I thought that was truly, truly cute. 
and it was tedious to do but i think it came out really really nice okay my little notepad that i need you know girl you got this girl love it guys so sometimes we need those inspirational quotes for us and also some remote remote control is easier just sit here and turn that tv on so i got this bag also one of the accessories from ikea because i feel my scraps are here so this so is just this works out perfectly well for me just small space and of course you see my snacks and my candles my candles that i haul again from bed and bath this mirror i haul from goodwill years ago along with my bling here so this is nothing special here i just i want to briefly just show you just you know and of course my little lounge is a two-piece i got from the furniture store here and just make it comfortable if i want to sit here and relax from doing a project i'll sit there and relax as well so guys this is everything in my room so i just want to show you briefly again how i store each section from um creativity side of it to the office side to it to the diy side of it to the background side of it so all this is stored in one one room so again i didn't want this room to be a big closet i didn't want this room to be a big craft area everywhere because i really enjoy my space and i keep this purposely keep this empty okay so i don't want any more furniture in here again i am done with my room i'm really happy of my room my little studio my youtube room my diy room okay guys so that is it for this tour of my studio so i hope you enjoyed this don't get dizzy i just wanted to make sure you see everything that i have in this room and this space and this is a really 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 nice space um again i do appreciate this room because again you know i don't care how large or small your place is you you know the best thing you could do is just organize guys you have to organize you have to purge some things i just went back in the back room and i said you know what you see how junky it was purge and the next thing i'm working for now is my kitchen you know some things you just got to get rid of you don't need 20 different dishes you don't need 20 different hammers you don't need certain things if you just find yourself that you're not doing the same projects again and you see that i even my glitter i actually started to whatever i use i haven't been doing that much glitter projects so why buy more of what i don't need it didn't make sense okay i get stuff as i need it so i try to do it like that because i figure the stores will still be there okay maybe i learned it from the toilet paper that didn't work out for me but basically the stores is going to be there so you can still get more supplies down the street around the corner from hobby lobby michaels wherever you know you don't have to always be in get big bolts of 50 different black paints you know so if you have a small space and you find yourself cluttering get what you need that's going to last you for a little bit and as you need it again before it runs out just run down the store and just get it again so that's the best tips and advice i can give you for people who want to organize you know a small space large space it doesn't matter what your space in all right guys so this is your more girl and thanks again and don't forget if you like this video or videos like this you know subscribe to my channel like comment and share we always say that here and don't forget you know i am here for you you have any questions for me leave it in the comments i always always reply to your questions sometimes so my subscribers count and get a little higher it might take me a little longer but i will if you have a question i will answer all right guys it's your more girl and i will see you at the next video all right guys it's your more girl bye